just as the servants of gods and servants of tin gods altogether exploit you with lies and slanders, calumnies, and fight battle against you so that you cannot find your way to the truth of the fertilization of life creation, or to its laws and recommendations, so you shall also fight battle against them in a good way so that you do not open your ears to their lies and slanders, calumnies of the truth so that you do not present them with your riches and do not nourish them at your breast do not pay for their welfare truly putting off learning the teaching of truth the teaching of spirit the teaching of life promotes a multiplication of a knowledge of the truth because the ones who have no knowledge will be deluded even more through this by the untruth of the teachings of the false prophets and of the servants of gods and servants of tin gods with who ban you the teaching of truth, and do not allow you to learn from it truly they only want to allow you to learn things of writings and teachings that correspond to their godlinesses religions, and sub-godlinesses sex guilt, and with their dogmas and submissiveness belief, because they are zealots fanatical believers, who make the goodness and the truth of the fertilization of life creation, and of its laws and recommendations appear evil devilish, and make the real evil appear pleasing to you. Do not be believers in gods and tin gods and in their servants' hands with hell press, for whom you are supposed to cast yourselves down onto the earth and worship and honor them. When they say to you that you shall walk on the path of the gods and tin gods truly, you shall turn to the truthful life here below on earth and be content with it however, you shall not pray to gods and tin gods or to people of your kind human beings, who raise themselves up as gods, their envoys or representatives substitutes and truly, the enjoyment of earthly life is not small, but very great and full of happiness and joy, full of peace and love freedom and consonants harmony. If you follow the teaching of the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation, the teaching that is given through the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, and the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation, not only demand recommend, to maintain peace, love and freedom and consonants harmony. Amongst all people of your kind humankind, and to take care not to go out to fight or wage battles wars, but they also demand recommend, that you do not practice outrageous inhumane, punishment on people of your kind human beings, and that you shall not harm the body and life of people of your kind fellow human beings, either their inner world consciousness, or the psyche truly, you have might over all things, yet be fair and use your might rightfully as well. Help people of your kind the next ones, and help the other people of your kind fellow human beings, just as you shall also help all people of your kind humankind, so that everyone may escape from a knowledge, hardship and misery and are not forced to remain therein and teach them that they must not be sorrowful for their unknowledge, their hardship and their misery if they turn to the truth which harbors love and knowledge as well as peace, freedom and consonance harmony in itself, by means of which every person of your kind human being, can elevate himself or herself to the greatest heights and no longer debase themselves through the word of the slanderous calumniators, against the truth and the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation. But do not go forth, lightly or heavily in lightness or wondrosity, and do not struggle with your goods and riches or with your blood for the sake of the truth because love, peace, freedom, consonance harmony, as well as joy and happiness cannot be purchased with goods or riches, or paid for with blood. And do not take any reward or any other gain if you teach the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life with your own mouth amongst people of your kind fellow human beings, so that you are not as the servants of gods and servants of tin gods with who pronounce with their mouth their false teachings of the false prophets for high reward and blind delude, you before altars, and who also rebuke people of your kind human beings, from high places pulpits, in hypocrisy never take any compensation payment, if you proclaim the teaching of truth from your mouth, because the truth is not yours, but rather belongs to the fertilization of life creation, and its laws and recommendations, 
Therefore you shall not conduct commerce with it through your mouth, because it is non-rightful to trade sell the teaching of truth or advice from it through the mouth in return for compensation payment. However, it is indeed rightful for you to take signs of gratitude gifts for your teaching and advice from your mouth if you do not demand ask for the same, but rather if it is given to you out of voluntariness and kind-heartedness and it is rightful for you to take compensation payment for the journey if you go out and travel in order to explain the teaching of truth through your mouth at a desired location and also it is rightful for you to take an exchange purchase price remuneration if you produce readings and sources books with a teaching of truth and you release sell them. If you follow the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation, then your worries will be taken away from you, and truly you will not lag behind in your unfolding evolution, because when you know the real truth and follow it, things will be fine with you and truly, if you recognize the truth and follow it, then you will recognize those amongst you who want to do harm and who are liars and slanderers calumniators against the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life. So you will be able to guard yourselves against this watch out for them and not allow them to make you turn away from the truth. You who know about the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation and about the fertilization of life creation and who follow the laws and recommendations, you do not have to apply in yourselves especially for permission to be liberated from strife and not to fight with goods and blood for the truth, because through the following of the truth of the laws and recommendations of the primal power creation, you are all really liberated from all strife, as well as from fighting for the truth with your goods and your blood. And you who know about the truth of the laws and recommendations of the fertilization of life creation, do not let yourselves be asked by those who are knowing of the truth to stand by them and instruct each, them with your knowledge about the truth and the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, rather be open honest, with them, without conceit arrogance, and always ready to give pat on your knowledge without having to be asked to do so do not leave people of your kind fellow human beings in doubt that you will always be helpful to them in finding the truth if they are striving to turn to the truth and you shall not be vacillating in doubt regarding whether to help each person of your kind next one in finding the truth if he or she is striving for it and seeking enlightenment clarification from you and if you are not equipped with good knowledge in the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life, then do not decide to go out in order to spread the teaching of truth. Rather be averse to such because without sufficient knowledge you can do more harm than good success. Therefore you shall stay back remain at home, with the other sedentary ones ones remaining at home. If you are not sufficiently skillful well versed well read in the teaching. If you go out to spread the truth and you are not sufficiently skillful well versed well read, then you will increase the worries of those who are to be taught, and also your own worries, because it is through your insufficient knowledge of the truth that you will run backwards and forwards without finding any stability, which gives rise to discord between you and the ones to be taught because some will listen to you and some will be against you if you cannot explain the things of the truth to a sufficient extent insufficiently, therefore leading to doubt and misunderstandings as well as outrage acts of gewalt. And consider that many people who are a knowing of the truth and many unfair ones irresponsible ones are only concerned with striving for chaos and forging intrigues guilefulnesses against you, therefore they maliciously slander calumniate. You if you are not steadfast in the teaching of truth so you shall wait with a delivering spreading of the teaching of truth until the truth prevails thrives in you to such an extent that you are able to teach it rightfully, so that the unfair irresponsible, conflict seekers troublemakers who are unknowing of the truth cannot be averse to your explanation of the teaching of truth, the teaching of spirit, the teaching of life.